Hey guys, know that we are familiar with adoration of the Maggie painting by Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci apparently depicts in this painting the story of presence of three Zoroastrian Iranian at birth of the Jesus Christ. But many scholars believe the reality is something else and Da Vinci draws some important issue in secret in this painting. I'm Omid and invite you to watch this video. In 81, Augustinian monks from the monastery of San Donato Scopito ordered to 23 years old Da Vinci to paint the story of three Persian kings. The young Da Vinci started working on the painting until he left for Milan a year later. The picture you see is the adoration of the Maggie painting, drawn by Da Vinci, which has been held at Uffizi Gallery in Florence since 1670. But the painting is more complex than it appears at first glance. In the middle of the painting, drawn the Virgin and Child, that forming a triangular shape with three Maggies, who is kneeling in front of the child and two people are standing on either side of the triangle, that forming a pillar-like shape. Behind them there is a semicircle of people with different moods. In the background on the left, you see a building being destroyed. And some of the cavalry in front of the building are fighting. The main theme of this painting is about the three Maggies, the Virgin and the Child. But why does Da Vinci include other subjects in this painting that are not included in the story of the birth of Jesus Christ? Antonio Natali from Uffizi Gallery director says the building and the battle in front of the building refer to the destruction of the Jerusalem temple which according to the Bible Jesus has already promised that this temple will be destroyed. But some scholars believe that the ruined building refers to the Basilica of Maxentius. The Romans claim that it would be destroyed when a baby born of a virgin. This basilica is thought to have collapsed on the night of Jesus' spirit. The existence of a lotus at the top of the pillars, which is a symbol of ancient Rome, can give credence to this statement. And of course, the palm tree among these drawings, which symbolize the Roman Empire. Researchers say using a palm tree in this painting can have two meanings. The first one is from the Bible, that says that the palm tree was helpful for Virgin Mary at the Jesus period. And the second one. Given that the palm tree was a symbol of the Roman Empire and also of remembrance that Constantine, the Roman Emperor, gave power to Christianity in the second century, can be concluded that Alt of Da Vinci was 22 years old at that time, but he has had critical to the power of the church at that time. But that tree that is right behind the Virgin Mary, this tree is called the life tree. To the left and right of this tree, you can see a teenager girl and boy. These two teenagers are Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene. The same Mary Magdalene as Da Vinci's contemporaries claim to have been the wife of Jesus Christ. And in fact, Jesus has been painted twice in this painting. According to experts, Da Vinci once again declared his protest like the Last Supper mural in the form of art. As you can see, the boy's hand is on the life tree, and it's sign of enteral life. And his other hand points to the future, which the commentators believe points to his generation and Mary Magdalene. But the girl's hands are as if she were in prayer, but she actually depicts the womb of a woman whose child fits into it. 
and behind them you can see a knight. The same knight who has always been on a mission from prayer of Sion to protect the generation of Christ. There is always a war going on behind the scenes. That is reference to the covenant that was the pin of kings and prophets before Jesus Christ. That he broke the treaty and now the war is giving way to peace. We saw almost everything in this painting, but the truth is that other things are included in this painting, the things that have been hidden for the everyone for 500 years. A researcher named Sirachini with the Swiss Kalpa group, which consisting of leading scholars, they have been researched on the painting for four years. During this time, they took 2400 infrared images of this painting and studied and finally achieved amazing results. To the right side is painted a cow and donkey that was invisible for 500 years. There is also a part of the roof that was hidden for 500 years. And on the right shoulder of the Virgin Mary appeared an old man with a bell, and elaborate figures of people appeared in the lower left corner. But there is a picture of someone who might make Da Vinci's fans happy. This young man who turns his face away is young Da Vinci. According to the researchers, Da Vinci has drawn himself into the painting, and Da Vinci with turning his face away, once again protesting in the form of the art what was forbidden in the Renaissance. Many scholars before the hidden parts of the painting appear thought that the young boy is Saint John, because his finger is pointing to the up, and Da Vinci's latest painting was Saint John, which depicting the famous Saint John gesture. This gesture can be seen in some of his painting, that most notably is the Last Supper mural. But then it turned out that it's correct that Da Vinci not paint St. John in this painting, but his finger is almost visible. Just pay attention to the exact position of this finger. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to receive more videos.